I like to think more just in general about the, the growth stage for startups. So like looking back and maybe this is also like people in your network, uh, other companies, what's the most common mistake you see startups make during the growth stage? And then, you know, looking at that, like those big challenges, uh, the common mistakes, how can founders best prepare to avoid those pitfalls? Yeah, so uh, both just based on my experience and then also seeing and seeing other companies, I think the hardest thing for companies to do during their sort of rapid growth is learn to say no. So it's really hard for companies to say no to enterprise deals if they're an SMB product. It's really hard for them to say no to partnerships if they look like bright and shiny and like they could bring in a lot of money. But uh, so the mistake that I see it most often is that uh, founders and early stage companies lack focus and they try to do too much because uh, because the money is looks good. So I would say learning to say no, focusing on what you do best and um, being disciplined would be one thing that would help a lot of early stage companies. I love that. Uh, Chris, same question. What's the most common mistake you see during the growth stage and how can founders and teams best prepare to avoid those challenges? Yeah, I think it's a bit of a catch 22 because I feel like most CEOs lack focus um, and it is part of what makes them great. They're, they <laughs> have ideas, they're kind of everywhere but it is, it's what makes them great. It's why they're in that position and, and most of the time why they're successful, but it's exactly, it is exactly like Drew said, it, you, you lack focus, you try to do too many things. You, you, there are so many ideas coming at you of what you should be doing. And so it's really hard to stay, to stay focused and actually execute on those ideas. Um, I think it, the success I've seen most, it's probably a virtuous. I really have liked the simplicity of the goal setting. Um, I've used a variety of different different uh, goal setting methods at one company. It was uh, four disciplines of execution and they all kind of align. Um, at, at virtuous, we use rocks and um, it's part of traction, the book traction. Mm -hmm. And every quarter we set three rocks and they're usually outside kind of your normal day-to-day -day thing. What are the big things that you need to move during that quarter? Um, and then it, it allows you to focus on that. Yeah, you still have to continue doing the day-to-day, -day, but you stay focused on that for a period of time and you end up getting those things done. You don't try to do too much. You set just enough goals and you get it done. And then if you come up with another good idea, do it the next quarter. If there's something you didn't finish, finish it the next quarter. But but don't overwhelm yourself with so many goals um, that it becomes impossible to achieve it is probably, that's probably how I've seen the most success is just setting the right number of goals and focusing on them. 